And <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting um, how the term autonomy keeps popping up uh, when we're having this conversation because, you know, how you personally define autonomy in context of intelligent agents, like beyond simple automation. Let me tell you. So uh, it's just, uh, uh, I want to say that where is the line between empowering agents and losing control? I see. I see. No, let me say, uh, in uh, 2024, an average uh, time an agent could work full autonomous was uh, maybe five, seven minutes. Now an average agent, I'm not talking about only our agents, like I've been talking about in the right. average benchmark. So an average agent could work roughly 30 minutes uh, and be you know, fully autonomously without any intervention from human. In the future, it could be more, and uh, it could be quite scary what happens when uh, agents will yeah. be really, really autonomous. You know, now we focus only to make uh, your fork, work with yourself and uh, make your life a bit simpler, automate mm -hmm. your route and so on. But who, who knows? I, I, I don't know. Uh, a lot of you know, our teams working on uh, agents and uh, let, let, let's see what will happen to each. Yeah, I'm asking that because, you know, people are concerned about losing control. So. Uh, what happens, uh, so like who should be accountable if like say agent takes the wrong action? So mm -hmm. protocol, the developer or like no one, basically yeah. that's, that's the problem, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, of course, it's all about, you know, access level, at the level of access to mm -hmm. different, um, it's it, no need to, right now to give uh, to your agent your wallet or even you give any, uh, a wallet to your AI agent, like a, like a crypto wallet. Uh, it should be some permissions, what is allowed, what is not. And, um, you know, slowly, step by step, you have a big community and uh, it's a good question, just